Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So this is going to be a quick video to see if I can use this DIY square wave inverter that I made uh, some time ago to drive an inductive load like a table saw like this. So this came out of uh, some questions that I have received from some of my friends about this uh, topic. So I just wanted to give it a try to see how much of a drive that we can get from this inverter powering a table saw like this. I made a video to show these designs. So if you like, you can go check out the video, but it's very simple. So I'm using an Arduino microcontroller to provide the square wave pulses that drive the MOSFETs. And I'm using this transformer being a center tab step up transformer to produce the AC that we need. As a matter of fact, the timing for this experiment is kind of perfect because as I promised in my last video about this inverter, I am about to change the software uh, on the uh, Arduino microcontroller to be able to convert this inverter into a pure sine wave inverter. All right, if you would like to see that, don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab so you get notified when we release that video. All right. Let's get to the experiment. And for the experiment, what we're going to do is to use this a square wave inverter to drive this table saw. And um, just to test the power, we're gonna use it to try to cut this piece of plywood and to see how much of a drive that we can get out of this. All right, so let's get to it. All right, as you can see it, we were able to make very clean cuts on this piece of plywood using the square wave inverter to drive the table saw. Although I will not recommend it, it's not uh, advisable to use square wave inverters to drive inductive loads. But uh, I will say that this experiment was a success and I'm really glad and uh, I'm kind of happy to see my DIY square wave inverter being able to drive this table saw. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe for the changes that I'm going to be doing to this inverter to uh, take it from a square wave inverter to a pure sine wave inverter. All right, I will see you guys in the next video.